Hey, what's up guys? It's Diffuser3 here, and today for you, I'm going to be showing you the best render settings I use for Sony Vegas Pro 12 to get that awesome HD quality. So to start off, you just want to come into Sony Vegas 12, and you just want to import a new clip, so click this button here, and get your clip. I'm just using one clip in this tutorial, which is my intro, just because I don't have any other clips saved up on my hard drive. So once you've got your clip in this little box here, you can just drag it into your timeline, wherever you want it. And, um... So your clip's here and that's alright. Now the first thing which I like to do is just right click the clip and go on to switches. Go down to disable resample and click it. This will just make it so there's no ghosting in your clip and it's all good. Next what you want to do, if you've not done this before, you just want to come up to here and click this button here. Project video properties, you can press alt enter or you can just click this button. And you want to use the settings which I use. So the one I use is the HDV um, 720 30 frames per second. This one, you just want to click that, and um, it's pretty much the same one as I use. You've just got 720p quality. Just because I don't use 1080, just because I find that 720 and 1080 are similar. Unless you're on a huge monitor, then 1080 does get better. But I'm on a 18-inch um, monitor, so it's all right for me. Then the frame rate is just 29. Um, just because you don't really need 59 unless you're doing like an edit with Twixter and stuff Then that's really when you notice the frame rate, but um, if you're just doing commentary 29 is fine um, 3d mode off Pixel format you want to keep at 8-bit just because if you go higher at 32-bit Then um, when you render it it'll render um, the colors weird and it won't render correctly So you just want to keep that at 8-bit um, The full resolution rendering quality you want to leave it best Whoops best um, the blend, the motion blur is Gaussian, and this one is blend fields. And then you just want to click start all new projects with this settings. This will just mean that you don't have to change this each time you come into Sony Vegas. Then you want to go into audio and make sure that your sample rate is at 192,000 and your bit depth is at 24. Also, you want to make the resample and stretch quality at best. This will also stay in all the projects so you don't have to change them. Then you want to click apply and OK. Now that you've done that, you can come up to render your clip. If you've got all your clips in and you've disabled your sample rules of them, you can just click file, render as, and this box will pop up. Now here where it says folder is where it's going to render to. Now this is the folder where I always render to. If you want to change that, you just click browse and you can um, choose a folder. But I'm fine with this one. Here is what it's going to be called, so I'm just going to call it test. And um, now when you come here, you'll see all of these. I have a favorite one, which I'm going to show you what it is, but I'll show you where it is first. So my one, if you just come down all the way to here, it's Windows Media Video V11 WMV. This is a really good quality um, type of video format just because it renders fast and the quality is always good. All of these other ones, um, like AVI and stuff, um, give good quality, but the render time takes... Uh, quite a long time and the file size is normally quite big so this one is the best one you want to be using now I've got a preset one which I'm going to so show you the sh um, settings for so I mixed up my words there but um, the one closest to it is 6 megabytes upload so this one 6 megabytes HD um, 20 uh, 720p um, 30 frames a second so this one and I'm just going to show you the other stuff I've changed in it so you just want to go onto this one and click customize template and um, here you have all of these oh by the way you won't actually have this best YouTube HD setting uh, this is a saved one which I've made so when you do click for your 6 megabytes one you can just change the template name to um, like best YouTube HD for me and um, this one you don't have to change the notes here I think this should all be the same when you go into your video you just want to make sure that it's at 29 frames per second or however many you did in when you changed it before uh, you should be on 29 um, all of these you should keep the same 720p pixel at spec ratio at 1 um, 5 um, seconds per keyframe and um, this is at 3 this is at 90 just because 100 and um, 90 they don't really make a difference you can put it at 100 if you want but I leave it at 90 bitrate you just want to click internet slash LAN and you want to have it 6 megabytes per second and then index 
summary this you don't really have to put anything here and for project you just want to make sure yeah, that you're at best for your rendering quality and your color space is at default you can just click ok and it will save it as a new one and then you can click this little star button next to it so whenever you come onto this page again it will always be here when you click the star thing and um, you'll be able to see it so you just want to click that and when you click render it will render your video and um, it will render quite fast for me and um, once it's rendered you can just go into your folder and it should be there and you can watch it or upload it to YouTube. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Diffuse R3 showing you my render settings for Sony Vegas 12. I hope you use them and I hope this helps you out. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.